Hey, it's Rachel Curly J, and today, today we are doing our monthly mental health check-in. Episode nine. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been nine months of straight consistency. If you're new and you don't know what monthly mental health check-in is, it is something I do at the end of every single month where we sit down and we talk about how our month was and we bring each other information that we can all start incorporating into our lives to make our lives a little bit easier. And of course, it's mental health check-in. So we just check in on each other's mental health and see how we're doing because there's nothing wrong with helping each other on this journey called life. And today for episode number nine is a very extremely important topic that I think everybody needs to learn, especially myself. And that is setting boundaries. How to know when you need to start setting boundaries, how to set boundaries, and why you need to set boundaries. We're gonna go over it all today. It's my one of my favorite topics, to be honest. Before we get into this, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to check out any of my other monthly mental health check-ins, I'll go ahead and create a playlist and leave it linked inside the description below. And also don't forget to follow me on my socials for any behind the scenes content and over on TikTok before it gets banned. I actually do post motivational and inspirational content as well. So you don't wanna miss out. Now, without further ado, let's get into this video. Starting off by acknowledging things that you experience that honestly you need to put more boundaries on it might be hard to tell that you're not really standing on boundaries not standing on business standing on boundaries for yourself because you might think some of the things that you're accepting or doing is normal but I'm gonna list some ways that you can tell. Like finding it very difficult to say no, especially in situations where you feel uncomfortable, you have self-doubt, or you even will feel guilty if you say no, then the answer is no. A lot of us wanna just give in to something because the other person wants it, but you don't actually want to do that. Like for example, your friend comes to you and she's like, I don't wanna go to this party alone. Will you go with me? Knowing dang well you're not a person that likes to party, but it'll make you feel bad if you tell her no. So you just end up going. That is not good, my friend. You should not be doing anything that you don't wanna do because you don't wanna let somebody else down, okay? Next is if you do so much for others that you start to lose track of your own goals. This is an obvious one, but we catch ourselves helping others a lot more than we help ourselves. And sometimes we do it so much to the point where we actually put off things that we need to do for ourselves. That is not good. You should come first before anything. That is not good. Now there are some instances where yes, you can help people but I'm saying when you're doing it so much you're just always helping others and you're not taking care of yourself you know you have to balance the two this kind of ties into the first one but when you feel obligated to please others why are you trying to do that now there are instances like in a relationship or like your parents where you do want to please them right want to make them happy whatever but if it's like really going against yourself to do whatever it is that you're trying to do for them to the point where it feels like you're not even really thinking about yourself during these decisions if you're strictly doing things to please others how are you really living your own life like you're kind of just living for somebody else when well, you should just be living for you oh this is a good one when you allow others to disrespect you and undermine you i love this one because i see it happen all too much in no way should you be accepting disrespect by anybody that includes family i hate when people say that or old people right respect your elders see people only deserve respect when they're respecting you there is no way that you should accept disrespect just because they're older than you just because they're family just because they're your spouse that you love so much no no you should not accept that at all period there is just no line between that where it's acceptable you should not accept disrespect or somebody undermining you okay what i mean by that is they just don't think that you're about something you know what i mean i'm not talking about oh yeah i'll fight you if you do this no 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 no, no. we don't have to take it that far i mean when they literally underestimate the type of person you are so they think that they could just run over you no don't allow people to do that to you you're smarter than that 
okay? Another thing that you might doing that really needs you to stand on boundaries, if you have a difficult time standing up for your own needs and values, I want you to know that you're just as important as everybody around you. The things you feel, the things you think, the things you need, all of those things are just as important as anybody else's. And the right people inside your circle will value that. You shouldn't have to feel like it's so hard to speak your mind on the things that bother you or to think that you want more from like your partner, for example. You are allowed to speak your mind on those things. One-sided relationships. If you have a lot of one-sided relationships where it feels like your partner, it's just compromise for them, do what makes them happy, move how they want you to move and they don't compromise anything as well you gotta set a boundary babe nothing should be one-sided it takes two it takes two friendships relationships anything it takes two okay there cannot just be one side to everything and if you often feel stressed overwhelmed or burnt out you're not putting a cap to your boundaries we'll just keep it a bean you're not you're trying to exceed your capacity your limits sometimes it can be overwhelming yourself with work sometimes it can be overwhelming yourself with like social activities where you're just doing too much at one time with a bunch of people and you're just gonna keep crashing out and the cycle is going to continue. You're going to go through these spurts of energy where you're able to do just a lot of things at once and then boom, crash. And then a lot of things at once, boom, crash. You have to have healthy balance and you need to create boundaries. That's a boundary within yourself. Self-discipline. You need to literally tell yourself, yeah, I don't need to be doing that. I'm going to tell the people that I am associated with that I'm not going to do it this week or whatever because it's just too much for me right now. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not just talking about boundaries towards people. I'm talking about your own boundaries as well with yourself. Know yourself. Learn things about yourself. That is where the boundaries start. Learn things that you like and dislike. Learn how to communicate properly when you don't like something. And the biggest thing, learn how to say no. No is a great word, okay? It's a big boundary, okay? It's one of the hardest that a lot of people have trouble with, including myself. Okay, you can be a good person and still say no. Please stop saying yes and forcing yourself to do things that you don't actually want to do. Prioritize your needs. Like I said, your needs and wants and values and beliefs are just as important as everybody else around you. At the end of the day, it is your mind, it is your body, it is your soul. And the right people will accept all of your needs and listen to your values and your beliefs. And if they don't, and they don't know boundaries, that'll push out the wrong people that have been inside your life, okay? They'll go away and then you'll attract better people. I think the biggest thing people have trouble with is literally being honest, not just with other people, but with themselves. I feel like a lot of people try to persuade themselves into believing something that they really want to believe, but the reality is just showing them that that is just not the case. Like people will try to make excuses for staying with someone, for example, because they love that person or they have history. But when your gut is literally telling you this is not good for you anymore, or if the other person is literally showing you and you're like, I don't want to take it for what it is. I just want to hold on to the belief that it can get better or whatever the case may be. No, be honest with yourself. Be honest about the situation. It is clear point blank in front of you and you're trying to run from it. You're trying to run from it. That is a boundary. Be honest with yourself and with anybody else. Another boundary that I think a lot of people need to establish is walking away from toxic environments or situations. Like if a very uncomfortable conversation is happening and it's really making you uncomfortable, like very unsettling, you are allowed to get up and walk away. You are allowed to dismiss yourself. You don't have to accept that conversation. You don't have to sit there and listen to the conversation. You don't have to take in anything that that person is saying if it is not aligning with you and making you feel good. Now, I'm not saying to walk away from uncomfortable conversations that need to be had in certain situations. That's just you not wanting to deal with the problem and running from it forever. But I'm talking about you don't have to accept somebody it's basically like somebody disrespecting you but you don't have to accept such negative information about yourself again unless you have a problem and you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing but i mean when somebody's belittling you and making you feel like shit, you don't have to sit there and accept that you are allowed to say hey i actually don't like the way you're talking to me or i don't like the way that you're coming at me right now i think i don't really want to have this conversation 
until maybe you cool down. Maybe it's a heated argument and they're just mad. I don't accept that whole, I just said that out of anger. No, no. You said what you said and it needed to be said. But at the same time, I'm not going to accept that type of treatment from you because that's not even how I treat myself. So when you're ready to have an adult conversation, we can come back to this. That is such an easy boundary that I feel like not a lot of people understand. But seriously, it's that simple. Again, you're being honest, you're stating what's making you upset, and you're not saying that you're gonna leave the conversation completely, but I think that right now is not a good time. You're setting a boundary so that way you don't feel disrespected or hurt. Always stand up for yourself, especially in moments where you are not being treated properly. Don't let people walk all over you. Protect your time and space. If that means setting a boundary or telling somebody no to protect your time and your space, then do that. Don't ever allow anything inside of your time or your space that is going to disrupt your peace and happiness. It is not worth it. It's not worth it. And for the love of goodness, stop bending boundaries. See, we're talking about setting boundaries and reasons why you have to set your boundaries, but the biggest boundary is to not break your boundaries for anyone. You need to give everybody the same treatment. Friends, family, relationships. You need to give everybody the same boundaries. Create universal boundaries for everybody and stand on it for anyone that comes inside the picture, no matter who they are to you. Boundaries are important and are going to keep you sane. They're gonna keep you happy. They're gonna keep you at peace. Again, don't let anything invade that, right? So that means no matter the situation, don't break on those boundaries, okay? Don't feel bad and guilty and feel like you need to break boundaries for somebody because the right people inside of your life will not make you feel like you have to bend your boundaries for them. As a matter of fact, they will respect your boundaries. As a matter of fact, they will respect you more because you're putting boundaries. Stick to your boundaries and I mean hard. I mean do not let it fold. And I'm saying this for yourself and for others. You don't have to be a douchebag with it. You can be respectful when putting those boundaries down, but make sure that you put them down. You feel what I'm saying? I don't care how you do it. Just make sure you land those boundaries down. And then you have two different types of people. You have one that'll accept it and be like, you know what? I'm sorry, you're totally right, that's okay. Or you'll have the second type, really, really? So you can't do this for me, or you can't go this place with me, or you can't this, this, and that. That person needs to go. That person needs to go. We'll talk about that inside of a different episode, but that person needs to go. I say all that to say this. Boundaries are very important, not just for others, but for yourself as well. Acknowledge times where boundaries are needed and don't allow others to just jump on you, okay? Don't allow your self-doubt to really eat you away and make you do things that you don't want to do. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut in situations and remove yourself if it doesn't suit you. And just remember, it's okay to have boundaries. You're human and you're supposed to. That is how you create happiness and peace inside your life. That is how you create balance. That is how you form strong relationships with the people around you, whether that's friends, family, or spouses. All of those relationships need boundaries from both sides. And remember, if you set boundaries, know that others have boundaries as well and you have to respect them just as much as you want others to respect yours. Now, with that being said, we have concluded today's episode. Overall, my socials, which you should be following me, is where I'm going to give like more in-depth boundaries Again, TikTok is where I'm going to be talking more about boundaries and about any of the things that I've done monthly mental health check-ins on. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss any monthly mental health check-ins. And go ahead and comment down below what is a boundary that you are working on. And I say this at the end of all of my episodes, but make sure that if you are struggling and just need somebody to talk to or you need some advice, I am here. I'm not perfect, but I will try my best to help you along the way. But I hope to see you guys next time. Again, thank you for joining me and I hope you had a great month of April. Bye!